So today I'm going to be um, putting these pond plants in the pond. Um, it's sort of February time and uh, it's a good opportunity to get the, the pond um, stocked with some new plants. Um, so it arrived. So I got a couple of plants. These are bog beans. A large root stock. A marsh marigold. Actually, two marsh marigolds. This is the other one. And finally, a lesser water plantain, which is in there. Hi, yeah, so I bought the uh, marsh marigolds because they have pretty little flowers. Um, and they sort of spread out a bit. They operate in lower, shallower waters. Um, and I bought the bog beans as well because they have similar features, but they also have, they create big, large leaves, which are good for dragonflies. And we do occasionally get dragonflies you know, in our pond. So I was curious to uh, see if we can encourage that. Um, and finally, the lesser water plantain I got because I actually already had one, but unfortunately it died uh, because I, it fell off its shelf into the deep end of the pond and I lost it in the pond somewhere. So I'm, well, I assume it's dead anyway. So I wanted another one because it has very pretty little flowers that I, I quite like. So these are obviously water-based plants. They really like thriving. They, they exist in ponds and stuff. So you really want to, when you receive them, it's a 24-hour delivery for this particular company. Um, when you receive them, you really want to get them in the pond pretty much straight away. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to repot the lesser water, the, the lesser water plantain into a larger pot. This is a two-liter pot, but I want it to be in a in a bigger base, which I'll be using to um, allow it to grow. These mar marsh marigolds are in standard pots, so I'll probably push them into um, water pots with the, the mesh. Um, and this is obviously not in a pot at all. Um, so I'll be potting that up as well. Well, I'm going to pot these pot plants with me. Pond plants with me.
Falling over when the birds come. 